So I want to talk a little bit about cholesterol now. Did you know that your brain is 60% fat? And of that, the majority of it is cholesterol. Our brains need cholesterol to survive. If we have an insufficient diet, we don't have the right fats in our diet, then our brain will literally turn on itself, cannibal-like, to provide itself with the dietary fat that it needs to function. Without cholesterol in the brain, you can have memory loss, fuzzy thinking, foggy brain, um, irritability, depression, suicidal thoughts, all of that from a lack of cholesterol. So if you're taking a statin and you're feeling fuzzy headed and memory loss, it could very well be that the statin is removing too much cholesterol from your system and your brain is starving for that cholesterol. Another thing statins do is they decrease the CoQ10 enzyme and your brain needs that enzyme to promote brain cells. So if you're on a statin now and you're not on a CoQ10 supplement, I strongly encourage that you look into that. Surprisingly enough, a study was performed where they increased the participants' dietary intake by 50% fat. They added 50% more fat to their diet, to their caloric intake. And they actually saw a decrease in depression and fuzzy thinking their memory was better because they were feeding the brain what they needed. Now, I'm not talking feeding the brain with the Big Mac. I'm talking feeding it with the right healthy fats. Did you know Switzerland is a country that has the highest cholesterol levels in their population, and yet they also have the lowest um, levels of heart attack or death from heart disease? So a study called the Lion's Diet was performed with 600 participants that were at great risk for heart disease and coronary artery disease. They, were, they lived sedentary lifestyles, they were obese, they, some of them were smokers, they had high cholesterol, they had high blood pressure. So they divided the group, the participants in half. Half of them went on a Mediterranean diet, the other half went on a prudent Western diet provided by the American Heart Association. About halfway into this four year study, they had to stop it due to the half that was on the American Heart Association diet were having heart attacks and dying, and they felt that it was unethical to continue to put that half of the study group at risk. On the other hand, the other half that was on the Mediterranean diet, although they had no change in their cholesterol levels, they had no increase in heart disease or heart attack. So I guess a good question is, do statins prevent heart disease? Is a statin side effects really worth lowering your cholesterol when there's so many other ways that you can do that just take some effort and and choices on our part so what can you do to decrease your chances at heart disease coronary artery disease high blood blood pressure anything related to the heart make some dietary changes make some lifestyle changes you want to remove processed food from your diet you want to get regular exercise you want to get a good night's sleep you want to quit smoking if you drink alcohol keep it very moderate, okay? You wanna add in the healthy fats to your diet, healthy nuts, you wanna add coconut oil, avocado oil, olive oil, flaxseed oil. Your brain loves those oils. Even though the American Heart Association came out, I believe last year or the year before, mentioning that coconut oil was bad for you. It just simply isn't. It's a heart and brain benefit when you eat coconut oil. We have a great, offer coming up for you guys. I have a wellness device called a heart sound recorder. And what this device does is it measures your heart rate, rhythm, and tone. And then it leads us to any nutritional deficiencies that your heart is showing so that you can live a happier, healthier life. So for the month of February, we are running a BOGO. Buy one heart sound recorder, get one free. That is a savings of $47. So. Give us a call here and schedule your appointment as soon as possible. Happy Valentine's Day.